My name is Anthony Khoury and I'm a chef and owner at The Night Safe in Hoik. Well, I worked for the betting industry for about 12 years. Eventually, six years ago, I decided that I would like a career change and I've always wanted to cook. So I went to college. In college, I done my cooking qualifications. Every student had to do a placement. And I worked at the Roxburgh Hotel. And at the time, I think it was one of the best restaurants in the borders. Um, it, was, it was run by Mr. Roo. And I thought, if you want to learn, you might as well learn from the best. At my placement, I got introduced to Sarah Dalrymple from SD Consultancy. We had a chat and she explained how I could further my qualifications through doing other qualifications, not necessarily attending college or anything, but online or face-to-face uh, -face before COVID. So I decided, yes, I would like to do that. And I went through all my qualifications uh, with Sarah and it was a real eye-opener because we went into costing, we went into management, running the kitchen. So it was different levels, stuff that you wouldn't normally learn in college that I learned through Sarah and uh, her qualifications. And at the end of my placement, I was offered a job there. Anthony came forward and said that he was really keen to do a work-based qualification. And we looked at SEQF7, which is Hospitality, Supervision and Leadership. At the time, he was really keen to progress through the levels because he saw himself as getting to a more management level. Once he'd finished his uh, hospitality supervision and leadership at SEQF7, we moved on to uh, the hospitality management at SEQF8. And I think that qualification really cemented a lot of things that he had learned in the lower level because it was more about the developing and managing and analyzing and devising um, menus and recipes. So it was really, really interesting for him. After COVID hit, I left the Roxburgh Hotel and I decided that I would like to open my own restaurant, which in November 2020 we did with a small team. Two of them, one of the chefs, Vitas, came with me from the Roxburgh and our restaurant manager, Cameron, also came from the Roxburgh with me here so we can open this place. After the first lockdown, we were open for six weeks before we had to close down again. So at that point, we decided, well, we're not gonna waste our time. So I got in touch with Sarah again and she advised well let's get them through their qualifications so the second lockdown we were focused on getting all the staff their qualifications so front of house were doing their management qualifications kitchen staff they were doing their hygiene and we were focused on developing our second business which is salt and fire in hoik as well at the moment our company is working with a number of Anthony's apprentices um, he's actually got quite a few outlets at the moment and it's really wonderful to see him bringing on apprenticeships and working with them from SEQ 5, 6, 7 and 8 while they progress within the workplace. So I think for him as well, he knows what those levels are and then as they move up, he knows that they should be able to achieve other tasks that are more complicated depending on the level that they are at. To take on an apprentice, it's good for our industry. Uh, it's good for the apprentice themselves as well. There's so many avenues that they could explore. There's not just the kitchen. I mean, even the kitchen itself. You can be a KP, you can be a CDP, you can be a pastry chef, you can be a sous chef, you can become whatever you want. But the nice thing about it, if you're doing, for example, a management or front of house qualification, and you think, well, that's quite interesting. If they say, can I do a couple of days or a week front of house? By all means, we're here to support them. I mean, whether it's in the kitchen or front of house, to us, the team is the team. I can take my experience. I can't apply it exactly to my apprentice because everyone needs to find their own path. What other chefs gave me is the guidance. And that's the most important thing is guidance. You can't tell someone, do it that way. There's no right or wrong way in doing something. There's always multiple ways of doing something. And we have to give them the freedom to do what they want to do. SCQF helped me by defining and giving me clarity to the path I want to take. When I first started, you walk into the kitchen, you just don't know where to start. When given something like a qualification to work towards, it helps and I took that and I apply it now to my apprentices. The SCQF levels are really useful for work-based learning because you generally start at SCQF 5, which assumes that you have some kind of practical or a level of practical understanding of the qualification requirements already because you are working in the workplace and you're doing those tasks already. So it's not like you're being taught, 
you actually are stepping into a role that you do have some understanding of the practical elements already. As an employer, you wouldn't know where to start, but SEQF helped with that because you've got a clear path that you can take with your staff, whether it's bottom level or mid level or even advanced level, but at least you've got um, a plan to, to work with.